McMaster celebrated the 86th Annual Athletic Awards Ceremony yesterday afternoon in the Burge Gym. The celebration began with the recognition of the men's soccer and women's fast pitch teams who won provincial titles this year and the women's cross country, men's lacrosse and cheerleading teams who all ranked in the top three of their national tournaments. On top of the 48 MVPs that were announced, 16 of the university's top national performers were also recognized for multiple national medal performances and all-star and all-Canadian nominations. The Bruce Cochran Award was presented to co-recipients Dan Russell and Mary Tam for their unwavering dedication to McMaster Athletics. Russell serves as the technical assistant on the men's volleyball team and spends countless hours preparing game film for the coaches and athletes. Tam is a student therapist and strength and conditioning coach with the men's basketball team who implemented foam rolling and chocolate milk into the team's training this season. The Les Prince Award was awarded to Lara Puludi of the women's lacrosse team for her combination of leadership and community service. The PhD candidate organized Project Go Girls Only, which saw a group of grades 6, 7, and 8 girls come to McMaster during the Women's CIS Basketball Championship last month to participate in a variety of activities that were led by McMaster's female student-athletes. The men's baseball team was awarded the Joyce Wignall Award after a season where they helped out the Rotary Haunted House in October, raised $1,600 for prostate cancer in November, and donated and prepared food for the parents of the McMaster Children's Hospital on two separate occasions. There were a slew of impressive rookie performances across the playing surfaces at McMaster this season, but Sarah Taylor of the swim team and Carter Williams of the lacrosse team walked away as the Mellon Maryland Hawk Rig Outstanding Rookies. Taylor was a finalist in all five of her events at the OUA Championship, and she picked up McMaster's first CIS swimming medal in eight years with her third-place performance in the 50-meter butterfly event. Williams was named the CUFLA's Rookie of the Year and All-Canadian in a season where he led McMaster in scoring with 22 points and 10 assists. From rookies, the ceremony turned to the graduating athletes and honored Shannon Galley and Andrew Lombard with the Dr. Edna Guest and Dr. Ray Johnson Awards. Galley was a triple threat for the Maroon and Gray this year as she competed for the women's fast pitch, squash, and track and field teams. She was named the Provincial Championship MVP in fast pitch, finished first in the C Division at the University and College Canadian Squash Championship, and qualified for the OUA Track and Field Championship and shot put. Lombard was an OUA Rugby All-Star, a former president and team captain, and helped organize the team's many community outreach events this season. The Treze Quigley Award recognizes the accomplishments of the Female Athlete of the Year, and this year's co-recipients were Cross Country's Jessica Pirro and Swimming's Sarah Taylor. As a freshman student, I guess the main thing that sticks in my mind is I couldn't have imagined what it meant to come to McMaster and be a marauder. Like, I came and I saw the school, and I came and saw the team and everything before I came here. And yeah, I mean, everyone's been doing fine to get along and everything, but I honestly had no idea what it meant to be a marauder. And I want to thank all of the team, all of our coaches and staff, and I want to thank especially the captains for really instilling the marauder spirit in all the rookies and all the athletes. Men's basketball captain Keenan Jeppesen was named the Ivor Wynn Male Athlete of the Year after ranking in the top 10 in five statistical categories this season. Um, although my time as a Marauder athlete was short, uh, I will be a Marauder alumni and supporter forever. Um, I look forward to watching all of you and supporting you in the coming years. Good luck to you next season and thank you all. For the Marauders, I'm Charlotte Pierce.